Alright there YouTube and fellow Airsofters, I got another video for you today. We're going to do be we're gonna be doing some more upgrades and modifications to our uh, PDW project here. I just installed the uh, CNC steel RE Tech trigger set. Uh, moving on, we're going to install the RE Tech 6.01 precision inner barrel for the short barrel PDW. Uh, we're also going to be installing the RE Tech rubber hop up unit. And we're also going to be installing the end pass. Now, the PDW currently shoots about 350, which is no big deal for uh, GQB because that's what the limits are around here. But when we put the precision inner barrel in and the new RA Tech hop up rubber, it should bump up the FPS. So I'm going to have to install the um, the uh, end pass in order to regulate the gas flow. So this is going to have to be installed. But Basically from here what we're going to do is we're going to take the gun over to the uh, chrono, we're going to chrono it, see what it's shooting, uh, see what the FPS is, and then uh, we're going to dismantle and install these upgrades here, and then take it back and see uh, if it bumped it up any. So uh, yeah, let's go over to the chrono and see what she shoots. Alright, well this is the FPS test of the WE PDW uh, with the stock inner barrel and the stock pop-up rubber. So what we're going to do now is check the FPS and uh, see what she's shooting at. Three forty-six. Three forty-nine. Three forty-eight. Three forty-eight. It about 345 or between 344 to 350 it was shooting at uh, so basically what we're going to do now is we're going to take apart the gun and we're going to put our upgrades in it and see if she shoots hotter let's uh move on to there okay so now we're going to disassemble and install our upgrade parts now to do so you're going to have to disassemble the upper and lower receiver uh, basically we're not going to be doing any work on the lower receiver so we're just going to take this and put it to the side uh, so basically what we're going to be working on is just the upper receiver which is here um, to get it started what you're going to want to do is take out your stock bolt I have the version 2 so I got to take it out with this little tool that's provided uh, version 3's you know you, your bolt just slides right out so let's get this spring, slide the bolt back, alright, now this here is the bolt for the PDW, okay, and basically when we install our RA Tech upgrade, we're going to put it in here, so let's just move on to the um, internal upgrades as the barrel and the hop up rubber, uh, basically what you're going to need is a Allen key. You're going to take out these two screws here on the bottom of the PDW, like so. Okay, and now once those screws are out, Let's grab the barrel. Outer barrel should slide off. And then just pull the whole inner barrel system out with your hop up. Okay. Now, this here is the hop up assembly for the PDW. Alright, you can slide these here out. You're not going to need them. These are just fake gas tubes for the real PDW. Uh, didn't do anything functional so basically now to move on from here you are going to want to take out this screw right here on the top of the hop off assembly which I'll take this out alright 
Uh, that's out. Slide your hop up out of your mount. Take your spring out. And basically that is the hop up. Okay, here's your adjustment. All right, and then your rubber sits inside there. All right, now to take this apart, there's a little screw right there, that little silver screw. You're gonna to wanna to take that out. Which is here. Take this out. All right, do not lose this little screw. All right, now pop off the adjustment wheel. And now your assembly should just pull apart fairly easy. Might have to. Like so. There you go. Hop up is apart. That's the hop up rubber, which we are going to replace. But uh, we're not going to have to worry about that because um, we're going to be replacing the whole barrel and everything. So uh, let's get the new stuff out. Alright, Tech, we'll create a barrel. Measure this out. Little short, eh, it's the same length. We're good. We're good. Alright, take hop up rubber. Alright. And we're gonna install this on the PDW. Now, if you look inside the rubber, it's kind of it's going to be kind of hard to show you, but you should see two nipples at the top, like little nubs. Okay, there's two little nubs in there. Those little nubs go in this notch right here. So basically, what you're going to want to do, you can see the little nubs through it. See how it's clear? Those little nubs slide right through it, just like that. See that? That's how you want it to sit. Because that's where your hop up adjustment pushes down on, and that's what gives you your hop up adjustment. There's two little nubs. Alright, so basically now we're going to reinstall it back into our hop up. Now, see this here? Alright, this is how your hop up is adjusted. This little piece of rubber here, sorry, this little piece of rubber here pushes down onto your hop up, causing it to adjust itself. So, let's get this reinstalled. Which will go this way. Like so, get it locked in there. Push it back together. There you go, she's back together. Alright. Now we got it back together. We're gonna to put in our little silver screw here, which will screw the hop up assembly back together. Like so. Alright. Gonna install our hop up adjuster, which if you look on the back of it, you can see the adjustment. I'm going to install that. Like so. Get it just right here.
All right. Now we have it just right. Let me see if we can get a BB here. All right, now we have the hop up all back together again. We're gonna put a BB in it. And boy, is it tight. Ooh, that's tight. All right, well, that's how you change out the barrel and add a new hop-up rubber. Uh, I'll save this. Just always save your barrels and your old hop-ups just in case if the new one you have rips. Or if you break or bend a barrel, you could drop the gun and break the barrel. At least you always have your spare. So keep your spare. Uh, for right now, we're going to put the inner barrel and all back together. Basically, it's just the same way you took it out. Uh, so basically, I'm just going to put that back together and then I'm going to show you how to do the um, M pass in the PDW. All right, now that we have that back together, uh, piece of cake. Uh, basically, we're going to move on to the bolt, so uh, let's do that.